Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Um, a few people have asked over the last uh, little while we did our last video on this little machine what type of uh, chips and where do you get them and what are the formats. Now there are different formats and not all of them can be done. Some are encrypted, some are not. But for a large amount of them they can be done. So it's a really good thing to add to your um, to your key cutting service. But because there's different formats and things it's a bit hard to know what's what. So there's the general ones which are like 13 um, megahertz and then you've got the 125 megahertz. So these chips here which we sell in our lock shop they're pretty good. They uh, emulate I think 13, 125 and uh, T5577. So if all that doesn't make much sense like to most people it doesn't. What you need to know is these ones here are really good. I use these on a, a few different uh, at a few different times and they seem to do you know what I've come across lately. Doesn't do everything, doesn't do all of them but they're reasonably cheap and they can do a lot of like little systems. I'll just quickly take you through now. So I put the tag at the back read so that's my number right there and it's in the same format What's interesting about this machine is here I can go input and I can put in my own my own input input and then I can go write and it's written it successfully and then I go read read fail read we shouldn't be uh, there we are and it's come up with the with the same number so we're able to actually put in our own numbers which is really good if you've got a system and you want to you know put in your own numbers you can kind of do that um, or you can simply just do the simple read and write like at the moment um, I'll try this blue chip here read that's its number and this one here read so let's make this 7777 on this blue one we simply put it behind there and you can write it now let's read it we'll get nothing Put it back there, we'll read it again, we'll get all the sevens. So basically these two chips, I find them, they don't do all of it, but they're a good place to start and they're cheap for what they are and they do, you know, a number of systems. So if you're just looking to um, purchase some tags to kind of get you going, these things here, you have maybe five or ten of them on your counter. You get your customer's key uh, or token, you put it up there and you do a scan and if it comes up, like it did just then, then you grab your token and you push right and then it's written. This was on 777 before so we'll do a, a read, we'll get nothing, now we'll do a read again and we'll get the token that we just pushed over to it. Uh, there is other ones as well like these little ones which you stick on the back of your license or you stick somewhere, they're very thin, uh, we'll put them online later on but they also can be written to as well. Uh, we'll try writing Might or might not work, but we'll see. Right, fail. Okay, so wrong format for that one. But these chips here, I find you can read and write. They're very good, very durable, uh, rock solid, come with a little key ring, and for what they are, they're cheap. So if you're looking for a place to start, buy a few of these, uh, buy yourself one of these machines, and that's a good place to start. You'll be able to offer some customers that option of being able to duplicate a tag, but you might not be able to offer it to every tag that you come across. Okay, thanks for watching.